My name is B. Brown Penn, and I'm going to be taking you through my piece called Cupid's Match for the Season of Love with Mayra. The first thing I have to do is get my brows out of the way, so I'm going through with a glue stick and then afterwards using a water-based paint from Mayron to color correct them and knock them completely out. I'm now going through and adding a little bit of a white guideline just so I can map out my look and really make sure I stay within the boundaries of the space I want to create in. Now it's time to bring this creature to life. I'm going to use my paradise paint in black to shade the perimeters of my face and also carve out all of my bone structure. Now that I have a good base for my black, I'm going to go through with my white paradise paint and fill in all the areas that I want to be essentially my skin color for this look. Going back in now with our paradise paint, I'm going to carve out the eyebrow area and along the sides of the nose. going in with a little bit of the Paradise Paint in Beach Berry to fill in the entire heart. I'm now going to take a mixture of both the red and black Paradise Paint, mix it together to create a nice burgundy shade, and outline the heart that I just laid down. After I map out my eye area, I'm going to take the same red we used in the heart, which is Beach Berry, and just kind of fill in the whole top part of the eye. Now we're going to take a red pigment eyeshadow and blend out some of the harder edges. We're also going to sweep it around the nose to just chisel it out and contour. Taking that same red pigment, we're going to blow it out underneath our eye area and blend it away into our skin tone. Now we're basically going to do the exact same thing we did with the red shadow, but now in black, and we're going to hug it a little bit tighter to the eye area to really make sure it pops. Now we're going to take our black to where we created our new faux crease and just blend that out into the red shade we've already laid down. Now we're going to make sure our eyes look open and bright and by doing this we're going to use the white paint in Paradise and just kind of overextend the waterline. Going in with the Precious Gem Powder, first we're going to use Opal and then we're going to transition into Garnet in the outside corner.
eyeliner, we're actually going to take the same mixture of burgundy and apply that into a really nice bold cat eye shape. Now using the black paradise paint, we're going to extend the bottom waterline out and a little bit downward. For what we'd consider blush in this look, we're going to take the same pigment color that we used underneath our eyes and just apply it with a small eyeshadow brush to the center of our cheeks blending it upward so it really accentuates the cheekbone. Because all of the bone structure in this look is very defined in a cartoon-like way, I'm going to underline my lip and also define my chin in the very same style. For the lips, I'm going to be overextending and kind of drawing the cupid's bow in a very heart-like shape just to stick with the theming. Now using a white pencil, all of the areas I've left blank I'm going to fill in so that it matches the skin tone. Now taking my black paint, I've got to blend the face into the hairline, so I'm just covering up my hair and moving to the side shape. my jawline just to make sure the face is really defined and stands out against the black. I'm now using an eggplant colored shadow so I can fill in my jawline and add subtle contour. As I move on to painting my neck and chest, you will see that I've added some appliques which include red crystals. As you can see, I've added lashes now, and I'm going through and adding a pink iridescent highlight. And in our very last step, I'm going to add some glue down and then press in some white iridescent glitter. 